Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. In the previous video, I explained you how to move the ball using whiteboard animations. Now, in this video, we will complete the move ball C sharp program, and by the end of this video, we will basically move the ball. That is, we will move the sphere with the up, down, left, and right arrow keys. Okay. So first, below the move ball class, I will declare a rigid body data type. So as you can see, I've just typed R I G I over here and Mono Develop is showing me this suggestion of rigid body. So I'll choose rigid body. I will give this a variable name of RB. I'll put a semicolon. Next, I'll come inside the void start and in the void start, I will set the rigid body component to this RB variable. So I'll write RB equal to get component. After that, I'll open a corner bracket. I will again type rigid body inside this. I will close this corner bracket and then I'll open and close a round bracket. Okay. So on this line, I'm getting the rigid body component. That is if I go in unity again. Okay. So on this line, that is on line number eight, I'm fetching or, you know, I'm getting this rigid body component from the sphere. Now, after this, I'll go in void update and inside the void update, first I will write the program to detect the inputs from the left and right arrow keys. So over here, I will first write float h move equal to input dot get access. Okay, so you can see over here, this is the option of get access that I'll choose. Now inside the get access option, Okay, so I'll open and close a round bracket. I'll put two double quotes and inside this I will write down horizontal. I'll put a semicolon at the end. So on line number 13, I'm first taking the inputs from the left and right arrow keys and then I'm storing that input inside a float variable hmove. Similarly, I'll detect the inputs when the up and down arrow keys are pressed. So I will write float vmove equal to input dot get access and inside and this time inside the double quotes i will write down vertical okay i'll put a semicolon at the end now after taking the inputs from the left right up and down arrow keys i now need to move the ball in three-dimensional space so to move the ball in three-dimensional space i will take a new data type called vector3 i'll give this vector3 data type a name of ball move and I'll set it equal to new vector 3 okay I'll open and close a round bracket and I'll put a semicolon over here next I'll put two commas inside this now as you can see the vector 3 data type accepts x y and z values and the values that the vector 3 data type accepts are in the form of a float so basically I'll put the h move and the v move variable values inside this new vector three data type. So first in place of X, I will put the value of H move for Y. I will put the value as 0.0 F. Now, since I'm keeping this value in float. So in unity, whenever you write any float value, you need to mention the word F after, after the value, after the second comma, as you can see float Z is highlighted. So in place of Z, I will write V move. After this, next I will write RB dot add force. Okay. So I will choose this add force method. Now after choosing the add force method, I'll open and close a round bracket and inside the add force method, I will write the ball move variable name. So guys, as I've told you before, the ball move variable, which is a vector three variable will basically give the direction for a ball to move. That is when you press the left and right arrow keys, the ball will move along the X axis. And when you press the up and down arrow keys, the ball will move along the Z axis. So guys, I basically finished with the programming to move the ball. So I'll save this program first. So I'll click control S. I've saved the program. I'll minimize this program. Next, I need to attach the script to a sphere. Okay. So to attach any script on any of the game object, what you need to do is you just need to drag that script on that game object. So as you can see, if I click on the sphere and if I look at the inspector panel of the sphere, then you can see there is no script component attached to the sphere. 
So next I'll click on this move ball script and then I'll slowly drag it and put it on the sphere itself. Okay. Now if I click on the sphere, you can see over here that in the inspector panel, the move ball script is attached to a sphere. So next I'll click on this play button and check whether the ball is moving or not. Okay. So now I'm inside the play mode. So if I click on the up arrow key, you can see the ball is moving front. If I click on the down arrow keys, you can see the ball is moving back. If I click left, it's going left. If I click on the right arrow key, it's going right. Okay. And as you can see, ultimately the ball fell down. Okay. So as you can see, the ball is moving, but there is a small problem. Okay. So as you can see, I'm again inside the play mode. If you look very carefully, whenever I click on the front arrow key, the ball is moving, but it's moving very slowly. Okay. So I need to increase the speed of my ball. So I'll come out of play mode again. Okay. And guys, this is very important. Whenever you want to make any changes, please come out of play mode. Otherwise your changes won't be reflected. So I'll open my script again. And next let's multiply this vector three data type with some speed value. So I'll multiply this with a speed of 20. I'll hit save. So I'll click on control S. I'll minimize the script. I'll again click on play. And this time let us see if the speed of the ball is increased or not. Okay, so as you can see, the speed of the ball is increased. Now I'm not able to see the ball properly with this view. So I'll move the camera a little bit on the top side. So as you can see, I have selected the main camera. And as you can see, the position tool is also selected. So I'll click on the Y axis and move the camera a little bit on top. Next, I'll choose the rotation tool and I will tilt the camera down a little bit. Okay. And this time let us check if we are able to get a good view or not. So now I'm able to get a good view. And this time, if I click on the forward button, the ball is moving ahead. Okay. I'll come out of play mode again. So guys, our code works perfectly, but there is one programming change that we have to do. Now, if you look very carefully, what I've basically done is I have multiplied this number 20 with the ball move variable. So my ball will move in all the directions with a speed of 20. But what if you want to change the number? Then whenever you want to change numbers, you have to come inside the script again. So this is not a good way to write programs. So next what I'll do is I will declare and if you want public you integer can variable, so I'll initially public set int the ball speed I'll give this a name of ball speed. I'll put a semicolon over here. And after that, instead of 20, I will multiply the ball move variable with the ball speed. Okay. The reason why I've set the ball speed to public is because I want this ball speed variable to reflect inside the unity software. So next what I'll do is I will save this program. And after saving this program, since I have made this variable public, that is I made the integer variable public, you can see over here, if I click on the sphere, so as you can see, I've clicked on the sphere. And if I move in the inspector panel, you can look over here that inside the ball move script. Okay. I just minimized it by mistake. You can see that we have one more variable called ball speed. And this variable is nothing but this integer variable over here, which we just declared. So now instead of modifying the speed from the script, we can directly modify the speed from the inspector panel. So you can either modify the script by dragging it like this. Okay. Or you can directly put some number value. So I'll put a number 20. I'll click play. And as you can see, if I click on the up arrow key, the ball is moving front. If I click on the back arrow key, the ball is moving back. And let's see if I can move in the left direction from here. So if I click on the left arrow key, the ball is moving on the left side. Okay. So guys, that's it from this video. I hope from this video, you would have understood how to write scripts inside unity. And I also believe that you have finished your first script without any errors. So that's it from this video and I'll catch you in the next video. I hope you would have liked this video. This was a free video from my virtual reality course, which is available on Udemy. This course is currently priced at $200 but you can get it at a discounted price of just $10 by clicking on the link in the description. So if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos like these. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.